What's up everybody, it's Ben Strader at EFI University and we're starting a brand new technical series called How Not To Be An Idiot. And we came up with that name because we were really sick and tired of Tech Tips and Tech Tuesday and Tech This and Tech That. So the reality is we want to help you not sound dumb on the internet. So we're going to be doing a bunch of these little short videos that are just small and short and sweet and to the point that will hopefully help you not sound like an idiot. So today, we're going to talk about the fuel pressure regulator and what its job actually is on the car. Most of the time when you ask somebody, what is the job of your fuel pressure regulator in an EFI system, the most common answer is, well, it's there to make sure you have constant fuel pressure. Wrong. It's actually there to make sure you don't have constant fuel pressure, because if you did, you would never get the correct fueling for your engine. Let's take a look. So here's my fuel pressure regulator that's hooked up on our test bench that we use to test and characterize fuel injectors, okay? So the fuel pump supplies the, the fuel to the regulator. The regulator bypasses the correct amount to maintain a specific pressure coming back through the system to my fuel injector. Now the one that I have has a little port here on the side just like the one that you have. The difference is the one that you have will likely have a hose or a line that connects this port to your intake manifold. And the reason is pretty simple if you think about it. We want to know how much fuel comes out of that fuel injector over a period of time. So if I turn my fuel pump on and I start flowing fuel and I turn this fuel injector on, I have atmospheric pressure available out here. So I have pressure going in against the spray pattern spraying into the atmosphere, which is also the same thing on my little port over here. But imagine what would happen if I put 50 pounds of pressure here at my fuel injector and 50 pounds of boost in here. Well, no fuel would come out when I open the injector. That's why we have to connect this port to the manifold so that as the boost goes up, the fuel pressure goes up and we get the same difference across the injector. Same thing if I close the throttle and I get a vacuum in the manifold, I would have my 50 pounds here, I'd have a big vacuum cleaner sucking that fuel out of the injector and they would suddenly flow more than I expected them to, so that's not good either. So the reality is my manifold pressure is changing all the time as I drive my engine or my car because every time you move the throttle or change the RPM, the manifold pressure changes. Because the tip of the injector is inside the intake manifold, the last thing I would want is a constant fuel pressure on top of the injector. If I did that, they would always flow something different. So when you're installing your fuel pressure regulator on your engine, make sure you connect the hose to the intake manifold so that you don't sound like an idiot. Hey, if you like these videos on our How Not To Be An Idiot series and you want to learn more, all you got to do is head to the website at www.efi101.com and check out all of our online training videos.